Indusind Bank has seen a 39% rally in the past three months against Nifty's gains of 6% and Bank Nifty's 12%. Given its stellar Q2 performance with healthy operating parameters and a great outlook, there may be further headroom for a re-rating. In a highly volatile market, investors should consider booking the present gains and wait for a re-entry opportunity. A stellar quarter from Indusind Bank saw net interest income growth almost tracking loan growth. The sequential marginal improvement came on the back of a rise in lending yields post-transmission of systemic rate hikes. The non-interest income was muted despite strong traction in core fees on account of lower treasury gains. Meanwhile, improvement in overall asset quality led to a decline in provision, thereby providing a kicker for reported profit. The slippage to NPA saw a decline sequentially. And thanks to decent recovery, the reported gross and net NPA too saw a decline compared to the previous quarter. The provision cover was stable at 71.5%. The bank also carries standard contingent provisions over and above its NPA provision. The credit cost for the quarter has come down as well. And for the year, the management expects it to be contained within 150 basis points. Even the restructured book fell from 2.1% to 1.5% of loans. The momentum in advances growth continued as well. The growth leader was surprisingly large corporate followed by small corporate. Non-vehicle retail got a strong support from credit cards, affordable housing, personal loans, etc. The bank mentioned that of its three key pillars, vehicle loans is doing well and would do better in the second half. Microfinance is picking up pace and gems and jewellery is doing well despite its global exposure. The lender is confident of 20% full-year growth pointing to a stronger second half. The comforting factor for Indusind is that the YOY growth in risk-weighted assets still lags the loan growth. This points to improvement in the quality of incremental book. The bank has also succeeded in improving margins thanks to the yield improvement in its corporate book. But raising resources at competitive rates remains a key challenge. Indusind Bank has seen healthy growth in deposits and has a comfortable credit-to-deposit ratio of 82%. The CASA ratio, however, saw some stagnation. The bank is adopting multi-pronged strategy to shore up deposits while maintaining a competitive rate. The strategy includes targeting affluent and NRI clients, branch expansion and community banking. Indusind Bank's growth outlook is quite convincing. Its healthy capital adequacy should be an added comfort. In the context of this growth trajectory, the valuation discount to larger private sector peers could narrow. Now, economic slowdown impacting earnings and asset quality and inability to raise resources at competitive rates are some of the key risks going forward.